the kick back. Dunn should take the mark again. Mr. Casual sends it in towards full forward, looking for more again. He looks a most untidy footballer, but he's proving effective. Nowhere to go. Centers the hand pass. The brothers Richardson are there, taken by Max. In towards the goal square. A lovely shot for goal by Max Richardson. Good kick too. It's a beautiful kick by uh, Good. Well down towards the full forward Zara. Oh, he's grabbed it. Great mark. A great mark. It's right in front, as you can see, only about uh, two or three metres out. Kicks, that's a goal. And this is Moore coming in for his second and Collingwood's second also. The kick by Moore. It's through and also a bit sure more. There he is. He's got it. Not really, uh, Jack, as he comes in more. Fires and it looks good. And that ball up towards more. Carmen and Heath. But Moore's got it. Oh, too big. What can't the poor old Heath have that? Where we see Moore going for his uh, fourth goal. It looks. But it's Ireland for Conway. They're doing everything right today, the Magpies. They've built themselves up for this match. Out towards three of their teammates on the flank. And it's Anderson across to Max Richardson. And the Magpies are in full flight at the moment. a pie in the sky for them as Wearmouth marks it out. And here they go across there of Kink. 20 metres out from goal. The hand pass to Carmen. The cross there towards Moore. And it's good night, Carl. Let's go. Up towards Moore and Mackay. They both go. Moore's got the... Yes. Oh, he's putting it right over from this guy. Is he playing a game and a half? And we see Moore firing for his sixth goal, and he's put it right through. Square for Moore to go for the mark. He's got his hands to it. He's marked it. Oh, even Robert Walsh couldn't stop him. As I said before, he's had three guys on him. Heath. Then we saw uh, Mackay coming in, and their captain and centre-half forwards down there trying to stop him. He's, oh, my golly, he's played a game and a half, this guy. He's played real percentage football. The kick. Oh, the, put down your glasses on that one. Another goal. Up for another serve. Up towards full forward. Now, Peter Moore against Kelvin Moore. More the fly from behind. 13 points the difference. With Worthington again the job of bringing the ball back into play. Over centre half back. Punched on by Anderson to the centre of the ground. Gordon. Oh, playing it on the string. Over the top. Kink. He can score. Rene Kink. Has he gone too far? More in the goal square. Towards the centre of the ground, Dempster picking hands on the ball, but no mark. Dunn fumbling inside half forward. Moore, Peter Moore. Great. Ruckman not there yet. Peter Moore takes clean possession. His 50th game. Handballs back to Barham. In front, Sullivan off hands to Carmen. Snap. Go. Touched. You're right, uh, David. They've certainly had the chances. The Magpies. Peter Moore out towards uh, Shane Bond who slips through the pack. Carmen getting his first kick for the quarter. Turns, boots it. Hasn't got the distance. Dropped by Baker, picked up by Mont uh, Henshaw rather. A flurry of arms and legs and it's true. A kick by Carmen. Well, Carmen. Twiggy Dunn and Sheen, it bounces right for uh, Twiggy Dunn. A hand pass over to Carmen, clear. And now Burke's behind him as he sends the ball up towards uh, Moore at the back of... Uh, he's got the city, he's got the... Picked up by Wayne Richardson. More. More. The mark is being played. Max looking for the lead from Moore. That's more like Collingwood system. Moore has got Kink clear. Coming up uh, to Muir. Knocked away. Close runs into uh, Kink. Kink gets clear. The hand pass onto Anderson. Anderson, the hand pass to Carmen. And good night, nurse. <laughs> Half forward. Anderson. Gee, trapped it brilliantly. Peter Moore, a chance. Good mark. Picking into the centre. Kekovic. Collingwood in control, leading by as much as 47 points at the final change, before cruising home with a 26-point win to take a stranglehold on the 1977 minor premiership. The hand pass. The only pass is first goal. Home truth to some of the Hawthorne players. Moncrief and Knights fly high. Neither brings it down. Oh, somebody was met pretty heavily. It was Knights, I think. Uh, in the meantime, Twiggy Dunn kicks forward over the head of Peter Welsh. There's a chance for Moore. Goes for a hand pass to Barham. First, another goal coming up for Collingwood. Ray Shaw, all clear. Fourth. But Manasseh coming right down from the half-back line to take that mark at centre-half forward. Kick falling short. It only goes about 40 metres with the mark taken by Peter Moore. The final now with the win over the Magpies. They're not going to have it easy. Thompson and Scott doing battle in the ruck.
Scott from behind taps it down. Free kick though is going to the Brownlow medalist. And Len Thompson, who's had a bundle of free kicks today, and Marks, has had the best of Don Scott in their ruck duels, and he kicks the uh, Collingwood team into attack. Here's a chance for uh, Kink up towards full forward. And the free kick to Moore. That's Collingwood's Peter Moore. He will answer that goal for the Magpies because he's only about 15 metres out and almost directly in front. In the back was played against Kelvin Moore, the full back for Hawthorne, to Peter Moore, the full forward for Collingwood. Umpire Bill Della giving this decision. Some people call them a courageous decision when the, the score is so close in a game of such magnitude. And also the kick being taken so close to goal. But if the free kick is there, the good umpire pays it and Bill Della is a good umpire. Peter Moore coming in. Kelvin Moore praying that he misses. Kick on its way, the umpire moves across to indicate all clear. Another goal kicked by Peter Moore. And that's his third for the afternoon. With Kelvin Moore, neither take it's been thumped out. Carmen a chance. Welsh came on the scene. Now a chance for Peter Moore. Hand passes to Shaw. Short caught in position, not in possession, and will take the free kick. Plays on quickly. Shoot. Game. Yes, if Tony would pick up the next goal, it will be. A very hard score for Hawthorne to catch, but now the whistle sounds. Collingwood are about to go forward. Martello giving Thompson the free kick, and Thompson should use all his strength and kicking ability to drive deep. That he does. The ball drops a bit in toward the half-back zone for Hawthorne. Picked up by Wayne Richardson. His kick travels long into the forward pocket. Moore going after it, and Peter Moore takes the mark for Collingwood, but the angle is very, very acute. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for a short pass here because it's a very tight shot. Even though he has been on target, he has kicked three goals out of the Collingwood total of 15 goals, nine. This one could be beyond him. I won't make any rash statements. Peter Moore. Goal. Oh, that's the goal that wins the game. Right. 